COVID-19 patients recover, they're starting to share their stories of survival. CBS 2's Cindy Shu talks to a woman from Brooklyn who is dedicated to educating children and now wants to make sure we're all educated about coronavirus. Rhea loves to travel. The 29-year-old from Crown Heights, Brooklyn, is also a runner and was training for a half marathon in March. But early that month, she came down with a huge headache at the school where she works and quickly went downhill. I had chills. Um, I took my temperature. I had a fever. And so I, you know, I went home. She tried multiple times to get tested for COVID-19, but was told she didn't appear sick enough. So she finally ended up going to the emergency room to get tested, then was sent home and told to isolate. Her test results came back positive for COVID-19. I was sleep asleep for about two days, three days. I don't really remember a lot during that time frame. It's almost like having jet lag and wearing like a heavy lead vest that you would wear when you get an x-ray you just your body feels so heavy and you're so tired her mom tried to help from afar but was losing other family members to covid 19 at the same time it's tough um you know because she lost her long-term partner and then even more recently we had an aunt pass it's been a lot because you can't kind of mourn in the same ways. You can't be close to family in the same way. Rhea is feeling better now after weeks in bed and goes out for short walks. If I do go out, I try to go out with a buddy, you know, six feet apart, obviously. And, and just to make sure that if my heart rate goes too high, I don't get dizzy or, you know, I don't get too tired. I have to take a lot of breaks. Now that you've been through this, what would you want people to know? I just take it seriously, you know, just because you're not sick, it doesn't mean that you can't spread it. I see a lot of people who wear masks, but it's not really covering their nose and their mouth. It's kind of on their chin and or they take it off to talk to someone. And it's like that defeats the purpose of wearing the mask. As restrictions start to loosen up, Rhea says, take it slowly. Yes, you might want to go get your hair and nails done. And yes, you might want to go to that bar. But is it worth the loss that could come? She says it's not. Cindy Shu, CBS2 News. Wow, wishing her all the best. Coming up on CBS2.